Hey good people, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Welcome back to the channel. I'll be doing one video tonight, actually early morning. It's uh, 5.57, around 6 a.m. here in Dhaka. A uh, bit grisly outside. Um, like uh, I have like 15 fragrances today, no individual reviews, uh, just an, like heads up. This month I'm planning to buy not that many fragrances because I think I bought way too many in recent times. And uh, you know, I just want to enjoy my fragrance for a while and then you know, I'll be doing some you know comparison video this time re-review and i'll try to i'll definitely buy fragrances but i'll try not to buy that many and enjoy what i got so uh the 15 fragrances the theme today it's not exactly uh like you know you think like it's a clone of something or it's like one-on-one -on -one clone some of these are clone fragrances like excellent uh, replacement also some of the other fragrances they are good replacement in terms of scent profile i'm not saying they're one-on-one -on -one clone understand that okay some of these are here because they provide maybe better value than the original and maybe cost less sometimes perform better or better value you get the idea so this is not in any particular order i'm just going to go show one by one okay so first fragrance i'm going to show you here is lalix white okay this fragrance is such a beautiful fragrance this house itself lalix i don't need to speak so much about this house those who know they know lalix provides some excellent fragrances provide excellent value the bottle presentation amazing ombre noir line this one and they do have some of the upper class lines so lalix ombre noir is a masterpiece as well lalix white basically can be uh, used as a replacement of uh, parfum de marly galloway and parfum de marly galloway is a little bit more peppery they have that uh, peppery kick in there uh, this one is not so much pepper there's a tamarind note which makes it beautiful fresh and uh, inoffensive fragrance this one is beautiful it's just like a perfect summer scent for me and it's just a unique scent you know in terms of scent profile so first one today i'm going to show you is called lalix white number two i'm going to show you uh, this is going to be from house of uh, i think karl lagerfeld and this is called bois de amre okay i think that's the name the name is a bit hard to read okay but you can see here it's a beautiful amber looking bottle and these are not very expensive bottles these are well under 35 40 dollars price range in bangladesh i think and karl lagerfeld is a house that not many people talk about mobusan them some of the other houses people like okay they are okay house i just don't want to buy anything from them but they do have some great fragrances okay karl lagerfeld is a great great uh designer and back in the days they had really some good fragrances this line they have few in this line but this is one of my favorites because this one is somewhat similar to dolce and gabbana the one okay for the ember so this is bit uh, simpler compared to that but it has the sweetness but i think the tobacco is a bit more uh, amped up in the uh, one but the similar scent profile for much uh, almost half the price okay body ambre by car lagerfeld and i'm not going to cover every single clone today or every single similar fragrance or you know uh, because it's not possible okay so next one i'm going to show you is this one rojas mustache edp and i have to emphasize on the word edp or the parfum because uh, there are two versions of this mustache edt and edp uh, the edt is a uh, kind of like a classic it's nothing to do with this perfume this is similar to i think one of the ysl's best fragrances called tuxedo and uh, i should have written down all the names because nowadays i'm forgetting stuff but anyway i hope things will be uh, okay without pausing so rojas mustache it's one of the clones which i like they also have afnan supremacy in uh, oud or no not supremacy in oud there's one more uh, man, you see things I'm forgetting. There are a few, I think Latafa or Afnan they have, uh, but they, you know, there are few clones available. This is actually, I think, discontinued and more value because of the 125 mil. Excellent longevity, boozy, vanilla, sweet, kind of like an amazing amber fragrance. Uh, Rojas Mustache EDP, a great substitute to YSL uh, Tuxedo. Next one, this is not in any order, okay? These are all random. Next one is going to be Kismet Angel by Mason Alhambra Latafa. This fragrance, I think maybe discontinued now, a bit hard to find, but you'll find it if you look for it. This is uh, obviously a clone of uh, Angel Share, and there are a few options out there. You can buy whatever, like Camera as an alternative, this one, or uh, there's, uh, I think, Emir Collection, something. Uh, I forgot the name, Fire Your Desire, or something like that. Yeah. But this one, to my nose, is the most accurate clone. and so so cheap i mean so affordable under 20 dollars it smells sweet it smells boozy it smells just like it's like a sugary uh, uh, kind of like a blast if you love sweet fragrance you love this in general as well but angel angel share is so expensive definitely you gotta try this if you love that you can save a lot of money smith 
angel by Mason Alhambra. So that's number four. Number five, we're gonna go is uh, this one. This is also Latafa. Latafa's Pride Line Alkyam Silver. One of the most stunning looking bottles in my collection. Okay, if you can see, it has beautiful bottle. So they have silver, they have gold, I think two. So the silver one is a clone of Bulgari's Tiger or replacement. There are a few of the other ones out there. This is my most favorite. It's the most accurate. Uh, longevity wise, it's also very good. So you can see Turati Blue is good. There are a few other ones also. They're good, like a new one they released called uh, Skeptre by Mason Alhambra. I think Bronzite. That is also very good. But this one is ultimate, like quality wise, <clears throat> the ultimate replacement for me for Tiger. Amazing fragrance, Alkyam Silver by Latafa Pride line. Next one, you're gonna go. It's a bit rare one, and this perfume you're not gonna find everywhere, but if you do love uh, Frederick Mall, okay, and their fragrance, I think it's called, uh, what is the fragrance called? Oh man, <laughs> uh, okay, let me show you the fragrance, then I'll remember. So this is called uh, Meharis by uh, Me Meharis by Aqua di Profumo, uh, Le, uh, this name I cannot read. On it, anyways, it's a, it's a bit difficult name. So this I think is a uh, Mas Ravageur, yes, Mas Ravageur by Frederick Mal. If you love that, this one it's a less spicy version, but it's very beautiful, very very beautiful creation on its own, and it doesn't last as much as uh, like the uh, Frederick Mal one. But I think this is an excellent fragrance on its own right. It's a small little bottle. That's the only regret I have, but I really like. It's a bit spicy, beautiful. It's like beautiful uh, composition. If you do love uh, fragrances uh, that has that vibe, okay, so. Uh, Meharis, I write down the names. So if you like the fragrance, I do actually own like a small little sample, but I do not have a full bottle of uh, Frederick Mal Master of Ajo. If you like Master of Ajo, try Meharis. Next one is this one. This is called Misani Parfum Purum. Okay, this is an alternative to uh, Bleu de Chanel. I do love Bleu de Chanel, but it's so expensive now. It's ridiculous. It's almost two hundred dollars now for the perfume. Okay, so that is just niche pricing. I don't suggest you to pay. Uh, it's same vibe. It's not exact clone of Blood Rational, but it has the same vibe. Okay. Also, Club Nui uh, Man, I think the iconic. That one is also a good clone. But today I'm showing you Misani Parfum Purum. Really nice. And especially one props they get is for the magnetic cap. Check it out. Misani Parfum Purum. After that, if you love Diorum Cologne, you can try Mercedes Benz Cologne. This stuff used to be so in in like inexpensive, like $30, 35 bucks. But with time, you know, like uh, the prices have skyrocketed because it's discontinuation. I don't know why great fragrances have to go in that fashion. But I think if you find it for a good deal, like 30, 40, even $50, get this because the Dior is going to cost you so much more money. And this one lasts longer. It's more lemony. Uh, Diorum has that white florals, which this one doesn't have. It's a straightforward citrusy fragrance. Mercedes-Benz Cologne, amazing, freshy for summer. You guys all know this, but I'm just going to remind some of you after that. Uh, next fragrance okay this one is not a clone of uh, the uh, other fragrance that i would suggest that is called parfum de marley sadly i used to have that sold it off but sadly is a freshy beautiful excellent freshy just like greenly but sadly is super expensive again the price point okay and for sadly maybe there are some clones out there but way before sadly there was this fragrance okay this is called hugo man or hugo green by or hugo by hugo this is the new version called hugo man so hugo boss made a fragrance already for you which is blue green in nature it's uh, ozonic it's aquatic it has the green apple it has kind of like uh, that pine vibe as well very fresh um, you can wear this almost all year round and you get 125 ml this fragrance is still available for a very good price point if you can get it like 45 to 50 dollars excellent value it does last a very long time and i think for Sadly, I mean, you, if you love that, you can go for it. But I think there's a more interesting scent profile. Hugo, Man by Hugo Boss. After that, it's a new fragrance that I bought. Uh, it's an old fragrance, but I bought it recent times and I love it. If you love Herba Pura by Zerjo for Sospiro, try Kenzie by Swiss Arabian. This one has everything uh, that uh, is offered in uh, that uh, Herba Pura. Okay. Uh, sorry, should have made coffee because my senses are still not awake. So if you love Herba Pura, Herba Pura used to be at Best price is $150 for a tester. Now it's like $200 plus. This one is going to cost you uh, like a fraction of the price. I don't know how much is in your country, maybe 30, 35 bucks tops, but here it's 25 to $30. You can try Kenzie. 
amazing longevity and it has its own twist it has a little bit spicy up top which is wearable i think uh, i mean with that own touch of um, the house of swiss arabian kins is an excellent fragrance check it out it's a hidden gem so last five i'll show you uh, today are uh, some of the you know also excellent fragrances next one i would su suggest it's a good alternative to aqua Digio profondo okay which actually replaced profumo profumo is discontinued i don't know which one came out first i forgot the date but this one if you have already mr burberry indigo if you find this perfume somewhere give it a try look at that bottle it's uh, way affordable it's half the price of profondo or even cheaper and you get an excellent looking bottle with that you know beautiful uh, presentation the juice color is stunning uh, mr burberry and this house itself is a stunning underrated house this one feels very close to profondo has better performance and better value it's just a fresh clean fresh clean fragrance light a little bit sweet as well for summer mr burberry indigo uh, i would suggest this over profondo next two are similar type of fragrances but i would suggest them over two niche fragrances okay first one is gonna be hugo boss okay hugo boss or hugo boss and this is called boss bottle oud okay this one i think is a little bit more expensive there than their regular line and this is a spicy apple i think cinnamon perhaps it's just a stunning little perfume i just love it in winter this one i would suggest okay any day over tom ford wood good some of you be like hey uh is this a clone of that no it's just a good alternative even though the price is a bit higher than boss other boss fragrances this is so worth it same profile smells amazing very rich and the apple is just like a banger you can also wear this for let's say alternative to this fragrance here i think it's called hubdan okay similarly looking bottle but hubdan is so much more expensive so give it a try here the boss bottle oud after that is the other sibling which is very close to this in terms of scent profile but it has a little bit difference which is why i'm putting it in a different spot this is called versace noir this one i think is discontinued i think max for is said so this one i would suggest over like as an alternative not over i like the other one more creeds royal wood okay royal wood is so much more expensive so much more elite and posh the spiciness in that the woodiness in that it's great but if you get versace or noir it's gonna be like one third or one fourth of the price still this is like 85 dollars now or more uh, this is also one of the higher uh, more expensive versace but so much worth it i just love this both fragrances so much for winter this is so masculine so you get a vibe of uh, I would say not it's, this is not a clone of uh, like uh, royal wood but definitely you can replace that this with that okay or uh, you can use this as a replacement of um, the great royal wood so last two are gonna be uh, also affordable fragrances these are kind of fragrances you can buy for very very affordable price tag this is called ajmal's kuro very big bottle but the bottle is actually not containing so much juice it's just a thin bottle okay but it's a beautiful little perfume if you love dior sauvage and you cannot afford it you can try some of the other clones like prada uh, i think luna rosa carbon but it's expensive you can try coach for men that one doesn't last a few more there are a few more out there but dior sauvage one of the best clone is this one kuro this is a little bit more masculine and a little bit more present in terms of scent profile i actually find more powerful this one is more powerful than current formulation of dior sauvage and so much more affordable 25 to 35 bucks excellent pick ajmal's kuro last but not least i'll pick up this fragrance which is from house of i think luxodor and this is called loyal agar okay loyal agar is one of my favorites uh, in terms of clone it replicates this one okay i did use the original a lot this is called Leighton. and if you love Leighton, you can definitely try loyal agar and also there are a few other alternatives but this is the best okay you also get magnetic cap this is always my favorite thing so in terms of scent profile pricing this is like almost the same quality as perfume de marley uh, perfume de marley will last like two two times or three times more but what you pay for versus what you get it's a really really good buy so these are 15 fragrances i want to show you today as good alternatives you know you can pick them up and they are not really one-on-one -on -one clone sometimes but they're really really good fragrances on their own right thank you so much for watching do let me know which ones have you used and which ones do you like and uh, if you have any other suggestion for me which i haven't checked out take care have a nice day bye bye